You're an idiot! It's bad what? enough you believed her, but then you gave up? Please, forgive me, Colonel. You've got to stay strong, and don't you ever give up on living. I need to know you can keep your cool no matter what happens. These two are always so hard on each other. Ah, they love each other. That's why. But I think that is true. I think I even said something about that. She did kind of give up at one point. Way back in the beginning of the show, she talked about how her motivation is protecting the people she loved. Roy's definitely one of those people. <laughs> they have such an interesting dynamic. It's like the way they express their love for each other. It's bizarre. But there's a unity in that too, right? Like they're both united on this front. You ought to think about taking your own advice, Colonel. Since you were the one who abandoned his- <laughs> Havoc's alive! I was so sure he was dead. Then what the hell? Why are we even in the same room? At my rank, I should have my own room. Hot nurse. Try to understand, sir. It's easier to guard the two of you in the same place. Which reminds me, why haven't they tried to kill us yet? What's wrong with you? How could you let that bastard go after what he did? You should have yanked his spine out of his mouth! Lust. He killed Lust. Interesting. It's not too late to kill him, so get to it! We can use Mustang. He's worthless if we kill him, however. Use him? Hold on. You mean the portal? <laughs> the portal? You don't need to worry about it. And forget Mustang. Father wants me to handle him. That father? The father? <laughs> right, so Lust's death is going to have an effect on the homunculi too. They are human after all, according to Lust. And you can imagine they'd be enraged by this. And gluttony... <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this. Showing some humanity. <laughs> Morning Lust. She was sort of his caretaker, right? Seems like Bradley is all they have to keep a lid on things. And father, I guess. Is he Ed's father? Is he Ed and Al's father? Is he? Is he? I feel like he is. But he looks so weird in that form. Maybe it's just another body he created for himself or something. I'm speculating. Wild speculation throughout the show, because I can't get a read on it. What if I've started to rot? Uh-huh. I doubt that my body's getting any nutrients. Or any sleep either. So even if we get it back from over there. Brother Winry. <laughs> <laughs> is he Weird. right, Ed? Now this is just a hypothesis, but I was thinking about the transmutation and trying to retrace our process. You remember how we mixed our blood to create a blueprint for mom's soul? Yeah. Well, right after that, we passed through the portal where we were both deconstructed. That kind of portal, okay. It's a slim chance, but I think it's possible our spirits might have gotten tangled up in the process. That might actually explain why I'm so sure. <laughs> He's about to admit it. He did admit it. Admitted it. Wow. We're starting to face reality. It's character growth right there. You don't grow because you refuse to drink your milk. Don't start with that again. All right, I'm gonna weigh in on this because I feel like this is really important. Milk. <laughs> Everybody was always after me to drink my milk. I did not like milk as a kid. I'm 6'1". All right, theory debunked. Catch me on Mythbusters. Episode 21, Advance of the Fool. I counted the number of steps it took to get to the basement under the third laboratory, and I was able to calculate the approximate location of that doorway. Everyone's so smart, so clever. But I was able to deduce a radius with the lab at the center. It's a That's lot of area. Command, but this is even more alarming. It's the presidential estate. Right above where we found the homunculi. Which means there's a very real possibility the Fuhrer is connected to them. They're closing in on him. One thing's for sure, the enemy's infiltrated high up the command. So extreme caution is necessary at all times. And full metal. Watch yourself. <laughs> Can I just say, this was a master stroke. I love how they did this. Following the progression of the show from the beginning, right? It's Ed and Al on his search to find Al's body and the Philosopher's Stone. And then somewhat separately, you have Roy Mustang and his search for power. And both of them are really well done. Roy's story started slowly, but has really, really ramped up in the last like five episodes. And then once we're so in love with both of them, now they're coming together and it's just so satisfying. It's a team of cool people against the world and it just feels good. It feels good, man. The Fuhrer working with the homunculi. This could be bigger than I ever dreamed. <laughs> he seems so happy. I hope you're ready to work yourselves ragged. Ah, uh, yeah, about that, Colonel. I think you're gonna have to count me out. <laughs> it's reasonable, Your work though. requires legs, and I can't feel mine. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'm retired. That sucks, but good in light of the fact that I thought he was dead moments ago. I get a sinking feeling when I heard you were the person that scorched that thing. Are you plotting something? 
You suspect a plot, but you still ID'd the thing as Maria Ross. Three cheers for old war buddies, huh? Mm. Old war buddies, my butt. More like accomplices. I remember this guy gave Roy a scathing, scathing critique in the Ross incident. Very convincing, though. So what happens next? My family owns a grocery store. And I can at least take calls. The retired life doesn't suit you. There's still hope for Havoc. Full Metal passed this on to me. Hmm. Dr. Marco, huh? A medical alchemist in possession of a... Philosopher's Stone? Permission granted. Get going. Did Ed really pass that note? If so, that was really nice of him. Very considerate. Major! Hmm? I didn't arm expect so you long. back so soon. How did you enjoy your vacation to the east? Loose lip sink ships, Major. The scenery was luminous and the women desirable. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, before I forget, this just arrived from the Provost Marshal's office. Good heavens. Remember how they told me I was their sacrifice and they needed me alive? They told me the same thing. They Let's tell a lot of people that, that. When she found out I opened the portal. Well, there's one piece of the puzzle. They're looking for alchemists that managed to open the portal and make it back out alive. And why do they want Roy Mustang? Why don't you tell me what's wrong? You should go back to your hotel right now. Attention all military personnel. It has been verified that Scar has returned to Central. There he is. Haven't seen him for a while either. Poor Winry. Brother, you weren't planning on telling her, were you? Of course not, Al. I couldn't stand to be the one to make her cry again. Yeah, I feel like she deserves to know, though. We're gonna lure out the homunculi. They need us alive for their sacrifice, don't they? So I doubt they'll be willing to just stand by while Scar kills us. You think so? It's a bold plan. Sounds like a pretty big gamble to me. Yeah. Well, it's much better than doing nothing. Oh, really? Because Scar literally tore us apart the last time. Well, we've gotten stronger in these past few months. <laughs> what happens if the homunculi do show up? How are you going to catch one? They're super strong and they pretty much can't die. Can't die? Was that hyperbole? This guy. Or are they actually immortal? Count us in. We'd love to help you guys. I'm serious about this. This could be what rescues my clan. All right, then. Ling is a strange one. I don't know what to make of him yet. I feel like the story so far is, is keeping their cards close to the vest. We got that little bit of backstory in that episode. And then he's sort of been around a lot. But he's not here just for this. He has a bigger role to play, but... I don't know what it is. I don't know how much I can trust them. This show and people's motivations, right? Like they all have something that they're firmly committed to at the cost of other things. And also the fact that so far he's been shown as being somewhat harmless and ineffectual. I feel like that's a trap. That's a trap. It's, a, it's all a trick. I owe you that much. What for? <laughs> is this for room service? <laughs> the guy's a mooch. damn right you owe me! <laughs> Oh, right, I forgot. You're catching an early train to rush back. <gasps> you know what? You should cancel that. But why don't you stick around and relax? Huh? I mean, it's just that, you know, well, there's always a chance my arm could get broken. Or even destroyed. Are you planning on destroying it? <sighs> I've got your soul, brother. Winry carries around a wrench in her pajamas. It's pretty amazing. I could use your help with something. Damn. Nothing's ever easy or simple. I'm not dumb enough to think I have a chance. I'm useless. You're wrong. Look, don't try and tell me you need a pawn that can't move. And don't you look at me like that. Forget about me. Move on already. You don't have time to worry about me. You need to think about the promise you made to General Hughes instead of pitying me. <laughs> Just let me get on with my life. All right. You're cut loose. I don't think he really wanted that. I'll leave you behind so you can catch up. I've got to keep moving, but I'll see you at the top. That's what he wants. It's not in him to abandon others. He refuses to. He's a fool. He's not going to make it to the top. This country will chew him up if he keeps on acting as soft. Well, I don't know about that. This country needs a fool like that man. 
Havoc has it all wrong. It's not pity, it's a deep feeling of responsibility. Roy feels responsible for his people. Havoc thought he was doing Mustang a favor by cutting himself off and letting Roy move on. But that's not genuine because Havoc wants Roy to sort of chase after him and be like, no, you're still in the group, which is what he did. That was a risk, like what if Roy actually had thought he was sincere and actually had cut him off? That's why it's good to be truthful and say what you really feel. Because you don't always know. You don't want to project your negative feelings about yourself onto others. You know, you can just say how you feel and let people make their own decisions, which is what Roy did anyway. Because, you know, I think he can see through it. And also, it's more meaningful for Roy to have Havoc be included and try to get better. I'm really sorry, sir. Uh, well, uh, sorry's not gonna uh, fix my stand. Looks like you could do some help. Uh, it's a good thing I have to buy Edward Elric State Alchemist at large. Cute. Oh! Wow, that's amazing. Thank you very much, sir. Please, you have to let me pay you for this. Pay me? Well, that's not necessary, but thank you. Could you please help me with my broken vase? It's a priceless family heirloom. Why, well, no problem at all. No task too trivial. Is this the plan to lure Scar out? Right. Did he just make a baby? I'm your friendly neighborhood state alchemist. When did you become so theatrical, Full Metal? Shouldn't you still be in the hospital? Probably. I heard about Lieutenant Havoc. I'm sure Dr. Marco... And... Hold on. People are watching us. Get in. On second thought, let's get out! I'm sure you've heard that Scar's back. So what's with the showboating? Do you want him to find you? That's exactly it. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> yeah. I need to fight him, and you can't talk me out of it. Have you lost your mind? Did you forget the way he tore you apart in East City? Ooh, sounds like you're kind of scared of Big Bad Scar. I'm not surprised considering how useless you were against him. <laughs> that wasn't my fault, it was writing that day! Is it just me or has their dynamic changed because of the recent events? Like, even the bickering, it feels warmer. You know what I mean? Now they have shared goals and experiences. And it seems a lot more receptive to Roy, whereas previously he was sort of distancing himself from Roy's authority. In a way, they're in a very exclusive group now. It seems like they're warming. They're warming to each other, which is good. Guess he got that your didn't invite. take long. You okay? You'd think it was raining the way your forehead's dripping. <laughs> Hold it! Don't shoot, Lieutenant. What? You can't be serious! I'm trying out the Colonel's sport. I think I might be able to catch a few fish. <laughs> nice. Al joins the battle. As bait to lure out the homunculi. He's too important to them. They can't afford to just let him die. That's crazy. We're not going to let it anyone crazy. else get hurt. Using ourselves as bait was our only option. What are you going to do if Scar happens to get shot? The MPs might get here before the homunculi. But you can stop that from happening, can't you, Colonel? So now I take orders from you, is that it? You've got a lot of nerve. You had better plan on sharing what you catch. Of course. <laughs> Attention, this is Sector 3 Patrol. We're under attack from Scar. Request immediate backup. What? No! 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 All right, on to Sector 17. <laughs> this is pretty fun. Is fun. Come in. Come in! Come now, Gluttony. I smell the ish fallen. He's here. I get to eat him, right? That's a strange presence. You could feel it too, right? Yes. Then it's time to move. Which will it be? Is he gonna destroy my body or my auto mail? Brother! Lucky. He canceled out Scar's alchemy. I was about to say that, yeah. He learned a lot from Scar. I sense your presence. And I can follow it. Follow me? Then I'll just eat you now. There it is. He's a homunculus. So, you're able to detect his presence, are you? <gasps> well, that's quite the nuisance. Let's take care of it. Getting more bold down the open. No, <sighs> Scared me. Damn it. <laughs> I thought Dragon Prince was the only one with cliffhangers. Man, this is crazy. Who's not involved in this right now? Winry, I guess. <laughs> Very fun episode. I'm loving the dynamic between Ed and Roy now. The show gives you what you want. When it's not busy taking things away from you that break your heart. I mean, what more could you want from a sequence, from an action scene, than Ed, Al, Roy, Ling and crew, Scar, Bradley, and Gluttony coming head to head? 
It's crazy. And Armstrong, it's missing Armstrong. I was gonna give this whole thing a 10, but with no Armstrong, drops down to a 6. Sorry. But that is the end of episode 21. I'll see you guys very soon for episode 22.